Hi, everyone. So uh, I'm Amanda from Corporate Parkway, and today we are going to be making our own bookmarks. Now, the bookmarks that I've chosen for us to make today are bookworm bookmarks. You can see what I did with mine. It's pretty cool. Um, anyway, so I'm going to go through how to show you guys how to make these. Um, so what I did with mine was I actually used some washi tape that I had. So you can try that, or if you would prefer, you can use um, some scraps of paper or tissue paper or whatever you have at home. Um, you need a piece of paper that's about, it's about two and a half inches wide. So the first thing we're gonna go ahead and get started. The first thing we're gonna do, I'm sorry, we should probably go through the list of all the things we need first. So you're gonna need your piece of paper. You're gonna need a pen or a marker, something that you can draw with. You're gonna need a pair of scissors. You're gonna need your tape or paper or tissue paper or whatever you're using. You're gonna need glue. I have a glue bottle and I actually have a glue stick also. Um, then if you want, so once we decorate our little worm, we're gonna cut it out. So you can use it like that, or if you want, you can have a second piece of paper to glue it on. Um, I'm just gonna use white, but you can use a different color if you have it. And I'm trying to think what else. I think that's everything we need. Um, I'm gonna use a hole punch for the mouth. Um, and it might be kind of hard to see. I made little, I just cut little circles out of my white piece of paper to make it little eyes also, and then glued those on. And then if you have a piece of, a piece of yarn or string or ribbon, if you want, you can make, so it looks like it has a little snake tongue. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing I'm gonna do is get my piece of paper and I'm gonna reposition my camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so now you can see my hands really well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and draw my bookworm. You can do this too. It can be whatever shape you want. I'm just gonna make mine a little squiggly, I guess. Okay, so that's what I drew. Now, it might not be perfect. If it's not, you can try again, but I'm okay with the way that mine looks. So I'm gonna go ahead and start decorating. So I'm just gonna take my washi tape and start taping it on like that. So basically, however you wanna decorate it. Um, it's, it's your little bookworm, so you can make it however you would like. Okay, so for right now, I'm gonna pause and finish decorating and I will come back when I'm ready for the next step, okay? Okay, I am back and I finished decorating my snake. And unfortunately, it's hard to see that one right there because I have green screen, so it's uh, 
also changing colors. Um, so yeah, I have my snake decorated. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. done here okay I am finished with my little buckworm he's cut out so now I'm just gonna take um, this extra paper that I had and I'm just gonna take a small chunk of it and cut some eyes out don't worry about them being perfect circles or anything like that um, mine definitely aren't and they can be as big or as small as you want them. And they don't have to be the same size. Minor. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue his eyes on. Just a little, shouldn't need much glue, just a little bit. got the little eyes glued on. Now you can draw, take your marker and draw what you want its eyes to look like. And I think I'm going to make mine sleeping again. So I was figured a bookmark, a bookworm that's stuck in a book is probably just taking a nap, chilling, holding your spot. So there's its little eyes. And then if you want, you can also draw a mouth on there. Whoa. Little buckworm's got a mouth. So there's my little buckworm. Now, um, if you want to, this is the part where you can take your second piece of paper, what other, whatever color you have, and then go ahead and glue it on there. I'm gonna do that with mine. Pressing it down a little bit. Okay, so there is my bookworm. And then the last part here is you're just gonna take, if you have a hole punch, punch out a small hole where its mouth is. And then you can use some yarn or string or whatever you have and you're just gonna poke it right through that little hole there. And then just make a loop, pull your ends through, and there you go. You've got your own bookmark. Now you can use this yourself. You can give it to somebody. Um, and I'm gonna turn my ends just a little bit. Now, another thing that you could do and uh, I'm not gonna show it, but something else you can do if you wanna make sure it doesn't get ripped or bent or broken um, is you can laminate it and then put the little tongue in there. Um, that'll just help it stay in better condition longer. 
Um, but obviously you don't have to do that. So there you go. That is our little bookworm bookmark. So thank you for joining me here today and I hope you had fun and I will see you again another time. Bye.